Hi there, my name is Tyler McSparren. I'm gonna be your student's online geometry teacher for this semester at LEAD while we're in this, uh, while your child is in the fully virtual online learning mode. A um, little bit about me, this is my eighth year teaching overall. Um, it's my second year here at LEAD. Um, I teach math and I also teach computer science. Um, it's the first time teaching a fully virtual class for me, so I'm kind of learning it as we go along with the kids. Um, but I really look forward to having your kid this year and then ultimately seeing your kid in our building. Um, so let's take a look at the class and how it's going to go for your student. Okay, so the first place that we want to take a look is Schoology. Um, so Schoology is the landing page for all of your students' online classes, including this virtual geometry class. Um, now for me, Schoology uh, really is just going to be a way to direct the kids to the work they should be doing on another site, which is called Edgenuity. You can see here's the Edgenuity course access. The vast majority of what we do in this class is going to actually run through Edgenuity. So Schoology is just sort of going to sort of direct them to the right spot. Now, this um, this view is going to show you a lot more than what your student can actually see. So I'll kind of try and focus on what they can actually see. But your student can see days, day one, day two, day three. Ultimately, they'll see day four and five, although I don't have those activated right now. When we look into day three, um, all they should be seeing is one link that explains to them what to do in Edgenuity. So they shouldn't, they won't see these top two things. Those are just for me. This is something that they can do in Edgenuity. So all they do is they click on the one thing that's there, and it's a really simple set of instructions. Log into Edgenuity on the right side of the screen. This is going to tell them what activity to pick. So this indicates linear pairs and vertical angles. Um, they complete the instruction, summary, assessment, or assignment, and quiz. So there's four chunks every time they log into Edgenuity. So let's go over to Edgenuity and see what that's going to look like. So their Edgenuity will look like this. They're going to choose their geometry. They will likely have Edgenuity for multiple classes. Um, and remember that it said we should go to the right and we should choose linear pairs and vertical angles. So there are a bunch of different units in Edgenuity. We are not going to do every single um, every single unit or every quiz or test in Edgenuity. We're going to pick and choose, which is why they need to go to Schoology and see exactly what they should do for that day. So day three, we saw linear pairs and vertical angles. So here we are in linear pairs and vertical angles. Like I said, there's four things. There's instruction, summary, assignment, and quiz. You can see estimated times there. We're looking for your child to spend roughly an hour, maybe a little bit less than an hour every day on their geometry. Um, that equates to about what they would spend in the classroom. Um, before they start on the instruction, I do want to show you that this drop down right here is going to give me access to guided notes. So if I click on that, it gives me a PDF. And that PDF has a set of notes that are tailored to the instruction. So as your child watches, they're going to see the answers to these questions, and they're going to be able to fill these boxes in on their own. Um, so they can certainly download, download these as a PDF, and they can um, use Acrobat to write on them. They can import these into OneNote, or they can even print them off. Um, so that's a really great resource as your child works through Edgenuity. Um, instruction, when they go to that, it's simply going to be a set of videos um, explaining new concepts. And then there's going to be short questions that they can try as they go through. So we have an that's instructor. Awesome. There he is. We'll pause him. So you'll see we've got um, an 18-second clip, and then we, they move on to the next phase and then they would move on to the next phase and here there's 14 stages so they're going to work all the way through all these stages some are going to be videos some are going to be short practice questions after they've done the instruction let's see bring your pairs they should watch the summary summaries are always very short um, do the assignment the assignment is going to be a, a set of questions um, that they can try on their own and then there's a short quiz. Now, if they don't do well the first time in the quiz, they can take it a second time. And really, if they don't do well in the second time, they can always ask me to unlock it for a third or fourth time as well. And I'm totally willing to do that. They just have to communicate with me. Um, so that is Edgenuity. Now, I'll be checking on Edgenuity and then transferring those grades back into Schoology. So you can still see grades on Schoology. Um, the final thing I want to show you is Microsoft Teams. So on Microsoft Teams, I have a group called Online Geometry, and this is simply a chat. Um, 
Let's see if it'll actually go there. There we go. So this is a chat area where I can send out messages to any of the students. They can send me messages as well. Um, they can also send me individual messages. So this is the, the group chat there. As you can see, there's 19 students on here. If they want to send me an individual message, they can do that to ask specifically for help. Um, and I also have office hours. If they go up here to the top, they can click on my office hours sign up and they can sign up for a one-on-one -on -one help session. There's a lot of ways they can communicate with me. Um, you're welcome to communicate with me um, through email. It's probably best for parents, um, but you should see your student using uh, Microsoft Teams as well. So hopefully I answered some questions for you there. Um, obviously, if you need anything, please reach out to me. Um, I, I want to be able to clarify any questions that there are um, and make this as good of an experience while we, while we get through and stay safe during, um, during this COVID time. So um, have a great night.